Hello and welcome. This is uh, Paul Sandu on a blustery, wintry, snowy day here in January of 2021. 2020 is now behind us and hopefully 2020 gave people a vision into what is to be expected in the coming years, okay? And as far as the prognosis of this world is concerned, I think it's not too healthy, okay? As the Bible prophesied a long time ago, the disciples came to Jesus in, I believe, Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, and they asked him, What shall be the sign of thy coming? When shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of, that, end of the world? Okay? So in Matthew 24, Jesus gave them a, a brief synopsis. But the what I want to draw your attention to is, is this term here, the end of the world, okay? And you know, people try and twist it and they say, oh, that means the end of the age. It's the same thing, all right? Whether it's the end of the age or the end of the world, whatever exists today is in, 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 a, in a transitory stage. It, it is going to be changed into something else. And thankfully, that something else, I believe, is going to be something that is going to be better. It is not going to be something that it is what it is at present time or it has been in the past. And that better is the return of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord, whose name is Jesus Christ, who is going to come and rule and reign. He is going to, all the kingdoms of the earth are going to become the kingdoms of the Lord and of his anointed which is our Lord Jesus Christ so that's a good thing because he is a righteous governor and when he comes he is not going to rule through respect to man he does not have care you know whether somebody's born to a king or born to a beggar like you know he looks at every person equally and that is something which uh, we have not had in this world since ever since Adam it has not happened you know, even when Cain and Abel were born, they were not equal. They had, they had, you know, differences. And, uh, and since then, everybody has looked upon human beings based on their material wealth, or what they call wealth, which in reality it is not. But that's what people base a person's, you know, importance is in how much money, how much power, how much prestige, etc. They have and uh, that's how people value themselves but uh, Jesus said what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world I mean not just a few dollars not just like a few billions like you know these days people talk about billionaires and uh, you know so what but Jesus said what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul so Jesus put the value of the soul greater than all of the money and all of the treasures in all of creation. It can be measured in terms of dollars or in gold or silver or any such thing. No, it can only be measured in terms of life. And life is so precious that it has no monetary value. You cannot value it in monetary terms. The soul is so precious that it required the life of the Creator Himself to come and redeem it, to buy it back. It was sold to the devil by our father Adam, and Jesus came, gave His own life. That was the price He paid. He didn't pay the devil with gold and silver or something like that, no. He paid with His own life, with His own blood. Life is in the blood, the Bible tells us. So it is the blood of Jesus Christ that was required to purchase mankind back from the devil okay that's what the bible tells us that jesus came to save us from him who had the power of death which is the devil and jesus now has the keys to death and hell so the devil is no longer the one that has power over death it is jesus and therefore the point here is that in 2021 this world is going to the end is going to keep on accelerating as i have proven in many many videos 
and if you haven't seen them then you know do a search on you know for example how long is the tribulation in my channel and you will find out that the Bible does not teach that everything is going to be over in seven years far from it in seven years is probably the end is just going to be in the very early and beginning stages yet okay the total tribulation is going to last close to 40 years so if it began in 2020 then you know you'll see the end will be around 2060 or a little bit before then okay so if you are thinking that uh, Jesus Christ is going to be back in like you know six seven years that is not going to happen and that is what Jesus taught us that in, in patience possess ye your souls that the end is not by and by okay don't believe the deceivers that tell you oh there's Christ there's Christ there's a sign in heaven no and I've taught you again and again and again that when God begins to show his signs in the heavens they are not going to be seen through a telescope like right now somebody had written to me oh can you talk about the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter I don't give a you know crap about this conjunction of Saturn and, and Jupiter unless it's visible to my naked eye and I can see it and the whole world can see it it's not a sign from God Okay, Saturn and Jupiter have been conjunctioning, you know, all throughout history. Who cares? Who cares if it only happens a few hundred years or whatever? I don't care, but it still has happened in the past. But the signs that God is going to show that are going to tell us clearly that these, these are the times of the end, they are going to be on a scale that man cannot duplicate, okay? So, friends, beware of false signs. It is only going to escalate more and more and Jesus said that you know be not deceived that was the very first sign he told us don't be deceived many are going to come in my name and they're going to claim that you know I am Christ or Christ is here or Christ is there don't believe it it is not until you see the sign of the Son of Man okay? it is not until the sign of the Son of Man is clearly visible that we will be able to say that it really is the end and again, as I have taught you, that in the Bible, it is very clear that there's going to be a one single sign, okay? Not the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Okay, there's going to be one single sign that is going to tell you immediately that that is Christ coming, okay? That is going to, if you're alive at that time, which is very, very unlikely that any of us are going to be around at that time. But if we are, and that sign is going to be, what's that sign going to be? What happens before Jesus' sign appears? He says, first thing that's going to be happened is the heavens are going to be darkened. Okay, the sun's going to be turned off. Oh yeah, God can turn, God got a switch, he can turn it on and off. Just like you go into your home and you turn a light on and off. God can turn the sun, light on, the sun on and off, the moon on and off, they're lights. They're probably like electric lights, they're not like balls of fire like NASA and all these liars tell you. Okay, so God will turn off the sun, the moon, and the stars. Okay? And the sky will be completely dark. Totally, 100% dark. Okay, and that, my friends, is the setting the stage for that sign to appear. So again, like, you know, when God has clearly given us this information, why do we get deceived? Oh, can you talk about this injunction of Jupiter and Saturn? I don't want to waste my time. Why would I waste my time? When I know that's not a sign from God, who cares? Right? Sorry, I get mad about these things because, you know, like it's been going on for so long. It's like about time that people become wise now. The days are short. All right, you can't be following everybody here and there. Read your Bibles. It tells you what to expect. It's very clear, all right? So that the sky is going to be pitch black. Totally, you remember when you go to the movie theater? When movie theaters used to be open, you know, especially the, the, before the movie begins, they turn the lights off, the whole theater goes dark, and then the curtain opens, and then the movie begins to play, okay? So when that happened, when the lights went dark, then you knew that the movie is about to start, all right? So that's, my friends, is uh, is uh, what the stage is going to be like. It's going to be exactly like that. God is going to turn off all the lights. Does the Genesis not tell us that God puts lights in the firmament? Lights. Not balls of fire. Lights. And I'm almost certain they're electrical lights, okay? 
just like in your home in your ceiling you have electrical lights that's how God's ceiling is the firmament is the ceiling and he has put lights in there okay so so then the sky is going to be darkened like a screen in a movie theater and then the sign of the Son of Man is going to appear which is going to be the brightest light that you might have ever seen in your life all right so that my friends is how we will know that the Son of Man is at the door okay like in his first coming at the time of his first coming Jesus his star appeared in the sky did it not and those who were wise they saw it and they knew what it was and the same thing those who are wise and those who are watching and praying and those who may be alive at that time like I said few of us will be but if we are then we will know that this is the sign of the Son of Man all the TV and news and everything will be telling you is like an alien invasion or something else okay but that's not the truth the truth is that it is going to be a sign of the Son of Man in the sky and it's going to be clearly and visible to everybody okay that is going to be the sign so you see how God will set the stage how he alone has the power to turn those lights off there's no man that can do that you know you hear oh, Bill Gates is going to darken the sun oh yeah fat chance he's going to do that all lies all lies man gets up and claims all these liars or oh, we're going to nuke the whole world and it's going to blow up. Baloney. Nukes don't even exist. Okay. It's all lies. Man is a liar because he serves the father of lies. Oh, we have so much power. We're going to do all this. No, you don't. You are powerless like cockroaches. Okay. The devil has some power. I agree. He does. That he can do some kind of weather manipulation or whatever. But God says, I will turn the earth upside down. Okay that only God can do. No man can do it and no devil can do it and no angel can do it. God can do it. So those are the type of things that we are headed for. They have begun in my opinion. 2020 was kind of like the preview. 2021 and 22 etc. As we move forward things will begin to accelerate and more of the signs which God told us in Matthew 24 7 and 8 the beginning of sorrows will begin to happen okay just the beginning keep that in mind it's just the beginning it's not yet the middle or it's not yet the end the middle and the end will follow so just this beginning of sorrows is going to last seven to ten years in my opinion maybe even a bit longer okay not the whole tribulation just the beginning of sorrows and that beginning what does it take nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom okay and there shall be pestilences. Have you heard about a little bit about pestilences recently? Okay. Oh yeah, 24-7. Pestilences, pestilences, pestilences. And that, my opinion, what has happened so far is not even the real thing. Even the who, who's the who, they came out and the others say, oh yeah, you know, this, this is not the big one. The big one, you know, is gonna come, all right. So pestilences, and famines, are famines developing? Oh yes, oh yes they are. Famines are definitely developing all around the world. And again, that is something which is going to accelerate. See like that sign that God showed us, will show us, when he's going to turn off the heavens. He's gonna switch all the lights off up there. It's going to become pitch black. And then he's going to show you the brightest light you'll ever see, which is the light of the Son of Man, okay? And, uh, the president will be a TV. Oh, it's Independence Day. The, the aliens have come. Okay. And most people are going to go and hide in their basement. Oh, the aliens are going to attack. Oh, no, don't worry. Donald Trump's already started a space force. So we're going to go fight them now. Bill Smith is going to come and save us. Okay. No. Those who are watching and praying and those who believe in the Lord, they know in the Lord Jesus Christ, they will know that it is the sign of the Son of Man. And they will say, no, these are no aliens, you fools. This is what we have been looking for. And you're going to turn your head up and you're going to look up and you're going to rejoice. Because your redemption is not just drawing near. It's here. It'll be here. It'll be here. All right. 
So that is how things happen. The stage is set and then in time the next step follows. Same thing now with these pestilences, these famines, these wars and rumors of wars, these earthquakes, which is in the Greek because means seismos, from which we get the the, the, the word English word seismic act you know seismic activity they call it but you know people think that the Bible definition of seismos is just earth shaking but it's not earth shaking it also means things like major storms you know it's like the sky shaking let's say what does a storm do a storm shakes the sky earthquake shakes the earth okay there could be a water thing which like a tsunami or a tidal wave which shakes the waters so all those things are going to happen in a bigger with greater and greater intensity okay so right now we are in the stages where the stage has been set okay there have been some very major flooding and storms etc this year and i believe in 2021 like all these forest fires and such which again people say are uh, you know man-made and they may well be like in this stage of the sorrows there is going to be a lot of activity, like the pestilences, for example, or uh, these uh, diseases, or even like, you know, uh, seismic activity, or uh, these famines that are actually being manufactured using man, okay? So man is going to play a very big role in this stage. When we get into the latter stages, like of the trumpets, for example, man's hand is going to be much less involved okay in what will happen that's going to become totally supernatural talk about alien invasions yes they're going to come what we call aliens but they're not coming from the sky they're going to come out of the ground like the bible tells us that is the army that's going to come out of the bottomless pit and then you know the earth is going to be attacked from above and you know again like those stages are being set every day you hear oh there's an asteroid coming oh there's an asteroid coming okay yeah you know, we know that that's all lies, but that is the devil. He was given the playbook, okay? God gave him the playbook 2,000 years ago when the book of Revelation was written, okay? So the devil has been given the playbook. He's been told that in the end, these are the events that are going to happen. And so he's been preparing for it for 2,000 years. For 2,000 years, that preparation has been going on. And now the time for preparation is behind us now it's the time of execution of all those plans and you know they've been practiced all the plans have been practiced like these diseases you know what they call uh, the black plague and the spanish flu and all these kind of things you know they have been practiced over the ages those are practice runs but the pra even this what we have right now is 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 still in my opinion more of a practice run and not the real deal because the real deal is very close it's coming which is going to really kill millions of people okay because the bible tells us so i don't care like what bill gates tells you or fauci tells you or anybody these guys tell you i don't care what these liars have to say i care about what the bible has to say okay so yeah so those those stage has been set the technologies have been developed you know whatever like you know okay you can uh, for example like in the book of job when uh, we read that, you know, that he created this massive wind of some kind, okay? Satan did, which smote the house on its four corners, it tell, and it, it remotely demolished it. Now, when we have a big hurricane these days, okay, or a big cyclone or something, it, cause, it can cause a lot of devastation, okay? Usually, but usually, the devastation is limited to very, very... Uh, what, we are, what you might say are very weak structures like mobile homes, trailer homes, like tents and shanty towns. They're the ones that get destroyed, like real strong concrete and brick buildings. There's very little damage to them, you know, if the windows are boarded up and stuff, and the danger is that the windows will break, but not that the whole building is going to blow away. But in the case of Joe, Satan created a, a storm, some sort, some sort of whether it was a tornado or whatever it was that you know and because Job was the richest man in the east okay he was a very powerful and rich man so I don't believe that you know his sons and daughters were living in like tent homes I'm sure they had some very fancy and the, and the building in those days were far stronger than what we built today like the brick and stone buildings so they must have had so this storm had the power to destroy it 
So that's what I mean. Satan has been practicing. He has some knowledge in this area, but not omnipotent like God is. So, so all these things are going to happen and they are happening. They are going to happen on a bigger and bigger scale. So whatever technologies, how far ever it's developed, that is available to man is going to be used, okay? It's going to be used in the arena of disease creation. It is going to be used in the arena of famine creation. Famine creation is also an art that has been practiced a long time. Okay, you have like the Irish potato famine, the Ukrainian famine, the Bengal famine in India. They were all manufactured using man. Okay, man like, you know, controlled uh, certain supplies, certain, uh, you know, uh, by, 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 by manipulating uh, certain circumstances, they were able to create these famines. They were not like naturally occurring ones. So again, like those, those things have been practiced. And if you, if you read behind the, the news or behind the scenes these days, you can be sure that these famines on a scale, what they're calling biblical proportions, yeah. Why do they say biblical proportions? Because it's only the God of the Bible that can do something on that scale. So the God of the Bible, Jehovah, he has given Satan the command now, Satan, you are free to do, not absolutely free, but freer to do what we have told you, you must do over these years. All right, so anyhow, uh, what I was saying was that uh, this playbook was written over 2000 years ago, okay? And Satan has been given his instructions. The people don't understand that Satan can only do what God needs him and commands him to do, okay? as far as so he is not free to do whatever he wants to do but especially in times of the end okay he is going to be very active in the destruction of this world as i have explained in many previous videos it is not in satan's interest to see this world end okay like you know he is not anxious to end it neither is it in the in the interest of the elites to see this world end and they are not anxious to end it they are only going to do the things that they are doing such as creating these diseases creating famines you know even destroying the earth like through these wildfires and other you know destructive activity which is going to escalate especially in the coastal areas you can expect like some major you know flooding and tidal activity which is going to destroy a lot of the coastlines along the whole world okay all that is going to accelerate and uh, it is it is going to accelerate because god has said this is the time of the end and these events must happen so whether satan wants to because he had a very good he was the god of this world he's got no more world that he's going to be the god of that's the end okay he's the god of this world and he needed he wanted to uh, to continue being the god of some world, okay? Hold on one second. Okay, sorry I'm being kind of all over the place, but this is uh, what I would like to say is that, uh, yeah, these the people that teach you that, you know, the devil's all anxious to destroy everything. He is not. It is his world. He has built it over centuries and millennia. Okay, he has built the systems, he's built the banking, and he's built like, you know, commercial systems. He doesn't want to end it. None of these elites do either, but they are being forced to. God has commanded that it must end, and therefore it will. Okay, so what I also want you to understand is that these things are not going to, when the end comes, it's not that they're going to start planning it. This planning, like I said, has been going on for over 2,000 years now. Okay or a very long time. So it's being perfected. If it's the end, it's the end. That's it, nothing can change it, nothing can stop it. So therefore, what I expect to happen for this whole decade is the sorrows to escalate, like a birth pangs of a woman, you know, they begin slowly, but they intensify, that's how it should happen. So 2021 should be more intense than 2020. That's it. So if there is a word, I would say intensity, that the intensity of whatever we saw in 2020, in every aspect, it is going to increase. And it is not just going to be limited 
to like this pandemic, there's going to be more. And I think one of the things is chaos. The word is chaos that we are going to see, which is a destruction of social order, which is going to be perhaps some wars breaking out, but also a lot of domestic problems in every country on the face of the earth. All right, I think I will end it there. So we look for these things to happen. Like I said, the, the first horse was the white horse, which is not Jesus Christ. It is this horse which brings this beginning of the destruction of the economic system, which is very actively ongoing right now. People have no idea how bad the problems are in the world economy, okay? They are going to be revealed sooner rather than later. The second horse is, of course, the red horse, which is the horse that takes peace from the earth. So I would expect the 2021, like, you know, 2020, in all, all respects, you know, you had some of these uh, protests in the USA or whatever, worldwide, a few here and there. But I think it is going to intensify greatly and uh, it is going to be followed soon after thereby with these increasing storms and floods and also earthquakes etc okay anyhow that's what i expect let's see what happens be ready be watch and pray watch and pray because whatever happens god is still going to be god his throne is still going to be ruling the all creation and nothing is out of his control. Thank you. This is Paul Sandhu. Let your coming be very fast.